Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial and today I want to talk to you about compound effects. And now I've been getting more and more into uh, different effects lately in our tutorials so we can uh, um, figure out how to use them and so you can know what you might want to use when you're uh, using when you're trying to figure out actually how to create a certain look and all that stuff. So um, now I want to get into compound effects because they're a little bit different than just normal effects in the fact that you need another layer to have them work properly. So for example, I've got this um, compound effect on here called compound blur and they don't all say compound in the name, just um, this one does. So we have to create a map or use like an alpha channel or something like that another layer to be able to get this blur to work so if I have none on it nothing's gonna nothing's gonna work but I created this map here that I'll show you later where we can select that and use it as like another blur or I can use something else if I would like to and it'll blur out depending on what you've got going on so this uh, tutorial might uh, last a couple videos because there's a few effects that I want to show you that are pretty cool and um, or I'll just put it into like a little series here and we'll see what, what happens so I guess the first one I'm just gonna show you is uh, compound blur so I'm just gonna delete out everything I have except for this text and uh, take off this logo so all I did was just take took some text and wrote compound blur a bunch of times and stretched it out and um, let me just I'll just stretch it out even further so it's like going across the whole screen let's go out there we go so now it's stretching across the whole entire thing and uh, the reason why I want to do that is because the map that I'm going to be making is the same size as my composition so what I'm going to do is let's uh, go into our project panel here and um, we're gonna figure out what our uh, composition size is. So let's go into composition, composition settings. And we've got a 1280 by 720 size composition, frame rate 24 and square pixels. So that's fine. And um, just remember that. So when you're making your um, new uh, pre comps that we're gonna have to make and everything like that, that everything looks and is the same size because it'll be a little weird if it isn't so let's uh we're gonna create a, a new layer and the compound blur effect is created by using alpha channel colors so a grayscale image to t uh, determine what's going to be blurred and what isn't so we're gonna create a white solid here we'll just name this uh blur white and um, make sure it's the correct composition size and if you want to do it quickly just click on this make comp size button right here and hit OK now we've got this going on here we're gonna take a couple we're gonna take this rectangle tool and we're gonna draw a couple boxes so if you click on the rectangle tool and make sure you're not clicked on your white layer you'll get this uh, fill button here and you can make that uh, black and let's just draw a couple uh, black boxes going across like this that's good so we've got that going on we've got this now we have a shape layer and this oh, white layer here. we want these both in the same like actual one layer so that we can use the so we can select the one layer in the comp are in the compound uh, effect called compound blur because you can only select one layer so what we're gonna do to do that is pre-compose these into one layer so we're gonna double click on both of them right click on it and go to pre-compose now I talked about pre-comps in a earlier tutorial which was only a couple back so check that out if you're not familiar with pre-composing so I'm gonna name this blur map and hit OK. Um, blur map is a, a good kind of name for this. So 
it describes your uh, effect that you're using it for and what it is. And this is a map that we're going to use. It's going to map the black and white images for the uh, blur. So hit OK. Now we've got blur map in here. Now we can turn that turn the eye for that off so we can see what's going on. We're going to come to our text layer and we're going to put on our compound blur. So I'm going to type it in over here on the right. Compound. And there we go. Let's drag it on to our um, actual text. And now we've got the compound blur here. Now what we need to do is select this blur layer here and put it on to our blur map. And now you can see that the uh, blur map has been um, affected on here. So it's taking the white and it's using that to blur out what um, what we uh, have on our text layer. So it is um, pretty pretty sweet there. So let's go to uh, our maximum blur here, and that'll that'll uh, just like that's your blur uh, uh, slider value there. So it decreases and increases the blur. You can see it's uh, not like really precise, so you're gonna have to. Um, probably like type in your values and stuff like that so I don't know like 5.3 or something like that you're gonna have to type that stuff in to get more precise so we've got a stretch map to fit and uh, since this is a whole comp size we don't need to stretch it out and then we've got our invert here if you want to use the blacks for the uh, uh, blur and the white for the non blurred area so that's how you invert now this works, this blur map, if we go back into it, also works with uh, the gray values. So if I go to make a couple more shape layers in here and make them gray, and just throw them in here somewhere in between, just remember that this one right here in the middle, a couple, one, two, three, four over, that's a gray value. If we go into our effects, so what's, uh, go into our compound blur effect we've got the uh, gray value right here that's it's not as strong as the uh, black so that's good let me turn that on as you can see there let me turn the opacity of this down we can kinda see how they're like lining up as you guys can see there so that's how you use that effect and uh, that's how you use compound uh, effects there there's a couple other that I, I'm probably gonna show you one's distort and I made a cool video with uh, water drop droplets where the uh, actual when the water moved it distorted the words so I had to use the water uh, video footage as the distortion and then I um, there's a, a couple other ones that I'm gonna go over uh, I haven't decided which all of them that I'm gonna go over yet but then I mean, I'll just make the video. Oh, I hate when I do that. Sometimes when you click on it, this happens like all the time to me. And then you just drag it back up to where it's supposed to be. That happens. If that ever happens to you, just swear and then grab it and put it back up there because it'll make you feel better if you swear at it. So that's all I'm going to say for this tutorial. Thanks for watching this one and keep uh, watching to check out the next uh, other compound effects that I'm going to bring up and uh, subscribe if you want some more uh, After Effects videos and that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, watching everybody. Have a good one.